What a night! What a storm! You got that right. I was nearly blown out of our tree. What do you make of that? Ooh, gorgeous. A pretty thing. I'm talking about me. Azul, Prince of Peacocks. Of course, Prince Azul. Ooh, better and better. This is, without a doubt, the best day of my life. Azul. Down the seahorses, Saji. Azul, now. Okay, okay, I'm coming. What can be so important that I... <laughs> She's alive. Good. When she wakes up, she can swim back to wherever she came from. <gasps> we need to help her. going to regret this. And when we do remember, it was your idea. <laughs> Come on, Tika. Wait up, bro. <laughs> Here on my island, the sea says hello. Dolphins are waving wherever I go. There's a song on the breeze and a home in the trees. Friends I can talk with whenever I please. Here on my island, the playgrounds are great. Slide every slide. And you don't have to wait. There's so much to be seen from our new trampoline. Finding adventures our daily routine. Birds and bananas and comfy cabanas. And the shell-covered faces to fill. Coconut glasses. And men with molasses. And pineapple patties to grill. Here on my island, there's nothing but fun. Finds you can swing from the sun. There are mud pies to make. There are branches to shake. Treasures await any road that you take. I'll take the high path. And I'll take the low path. And I'll take the path through the sky. I'll jump the river. I'll climb the mountain And I'll stay here Guarding the pie In the rotten papaya. <laughs> You're the rotten papaya,
No! No! What? Go! Who? No! No! Somebody doesn't care about my beauty sleep. Tika! Tika! <gasps> Did I wake you? It's okay. Easy for you to say. You don't have to rearrange hundreds of feathers. <sighs> I'll just stay up for a while. Like, all night? Me too. Really? We'll stay up together. Do you see them? Mm -hmm. That's your star, and Saji's, and mine, and Azul's. He has two. He is royalty. We're all together. Can you sing me the good night song again? Of course. Sun goes down and we are here together. Fireflies glow like a thousand charms. Stay with me and you can dream forever right here in my arms. Where'd you learn that song again? I don't know. I've always just known it. It's magic when you are here beside me. Close your eyes and let me hold you tight. Everything that I could ever need is right here in my arms. Other part two? Okay, but you know I don't remember all the words. La la la, la la la, stars begin to climb. La la la. Floating island before. Nothing beats a brand new shore streaming into view. After weeks upon the waves, the thrill of somewhere new. Riches of the world can't compare to these. Golden sand 
and silver clouds, the fragrant island breeze. What will I discover next? It's all a mystery, different every day. There's so much to do and learn and touch and hear and see, just a step away. It has no trunk. It has no tail. It's not a fish. It is not a whale. It has no feathers I can see. I have to say it looks like me. It must be bad. It can't be good. Let's run and hide. I think we should. Just close your eyes, it goes away. This doesn't happen every day. Feeling the excitement grow every single stride. Son of Bob and Earth below. <laughs> the fast way to see the island. Oh, deep shadows, overhanging foliage. This is the ideal habitat for crocodiles. Oh, why, yes, how do you know? I see. No sudden movement, stranger. No, wouldn't dream of it, Your Highness. Point for you. That's enough. Fang, don't even think about it. Is she talking to the crocodiles? <laughs> no, not even a little piece. Now swim along. Thank you. Oh, sorry about that. We're not used to visitors. Who are you? Who are you? Ro. Is that your name? I think so. So you don't remember anything? Your family? Where you're from? Saji tells me I came from the sea a long time ago. Oh, maybe a shipwreck. I don't know. I don't remember. Who's Saji? You can come out now. They won't bite. Saji, Tika, and Azul. My goodness! A red panda, elephant, and peacock, your highness. You saved us. Now let us save you. Come back to my kingdom. I... I still don't know your name. Oh, silly of it. May I introduce Prince Antonio of the Kingdom of Apollonia. Did he say Prince? Kingdom? Perhaps we're related. Okay, okay, Azul, we get it. He's a prince, you're a prince. You really understand him? Yes, don't you? No, all I hear is... 
I don't sound anything like that. Now, Azul, don't get upset. Extraordinary. Talks to animals. This is Fraser, my friend and royal scientist. <laughs> I have so much to ask you. Ro, come with us to civilization. Civilization? What lies beyond the horizon. A world of people like you and me. Are you really thinking of leaving? You can't mean it, Ro! I think it's a great idea. Ro? Where is the land I come from? Who lives where I was born? Why do my memories start with a storm? What if I have a family somewhere beyond the sea? Could there be someone there missing me? Tell me why I'm not sleeping and my heart is leaping inside me. Could this be one of those times when your feelings decide? Just amazing, daring and bold and sure, different from girls that I've met before. Do you think she might like me? How do I look tonight? I just want everything to be right. Questions keep turning and churning and burning inside me. What are these feelings I feel when she's here by my side? I need to know these answers.
You're welcome. Can you believe your eyes? Everybody's like me. But nobody's like me. Let's go home, Ro. Without exploring? That doesn't sound like you, Tika. What do you think? It's so... Different. Good to have you back, Your Highness. Good to see you too, Gerard. What kind of beasts have you brought home this time? Did he just call us beasts? Beasts? Isn't it amazing? The royal carriage. Translation? <laughs> Azul likes riding in style. And now, for you. If you don't mind, I'll go with Tika. Oh, of course. Let me introduce my friend Ro. She grew up far away on an island. Hello. My sisters, Rita, Hello. Sophia, Hello. and Gina. Hi. Are these your pets? No, my family. Saji, Azul. I'm sorry. Prince Azul Vasu Morantha the fourth. <laughs> oh, oh, a rainbow! And little Tika. <laughs> little? Such soft ears. And the cutest nose ever. <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet my parents. <laughs> We 
should have waited. I know what's best for my own son. Our son? How could I have asked him? Hmm? He was somewhere on the high seas. Again. I know someone else who loved adventure as a boy. Yes, well, and then I grew up. I take my responsibility seriously, something he needs to learn. Oh, Peter. Mother! Father! Oh, Antonio, dear! How are you, Tallulah? Good to have you home. Good to be home, Father. I'd like you to meet someone special. Her name is Ro. Ro? Whoa! Uh, that's Azul. And this is Saji. There's Ro. Oh, another pet for me? Oh, he's charming. Don't you think so, Delula? <laughs> Mother, father, may I introduce Ro? A Fraser and I found her stranded on an island, probably shipwrecked years ago. Um, hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Oh, what an ordeal. Alone for all those years? Oh, I wasn't alone. I had all the animals and the dolphins and the birds. Oh, pets can be such a comfort. Oh, I can't imagine life without darling little Tallulah. Where'd you come from? Quite far, actually. The South Seas. We're from the South Seas, too. You understand? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> really? <laughs> that long? Antonio, what exactly is she doing? Isn't it? Can you believe it? Ro actually talked to animals. Isn't that interesting? Now, Antonio, I have important news. A cause for celebration. Son, I am delighted to introduce to you Princess Luciana, your bride-to-be. My what? Welcome, my dear. Pleasure to meet you, Prince Antonio. Likewise, your highness. Father, I'm very excited, I'm sure. And her mother, Queen Ariana. to meet my future son-in-law. Your Highness? Father, I am overcome with joy, I'm sure. I can just see it. Everyone gathered here for the engagement ball tomorrow night. Tomorrow? What was I thinking? He belongs here. We don't. Couldn't you grow to like it? Bro! Bro, wait! I... I had no idea. Thank you for showing me civilization, but I want to go back. 
When can the next ship take me home? Please stay. Pick any room in the castle, and the animals will be comfortable in our royal stable. I like the sound of that. Thank you, but I'll stay with my family. How's this? Oh, oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Glad to help. <laughs> did she just answer me? Hmm. How did she do that? Better watch what to say. Nice to meet you. I'm Ro. I'm Lorenzo. Pig in charge. We like to humor him. <laughs> Could we trouble you for a place to stay? Plenty of room for you right here. <laughs> we couldn't impose. Please, just show us to a nice, sturdy tree. A tree? Hmm. The pig in charge can take you to the royal greenhouse. I can't marry Princess Luciana. Why? She's beautiful, talented, from an impeccable royal family. I'm sure she is, but there's someone else. Antonio, you don't mean... <laughs> oh, she's different from any girl I've met before. Clearly. She's daring, curious, at home in the outdoors. She also talks to animals. Be serious for once in your life, Antonio. I've let you travel to your heart's content, but the time has come for you to settle down. And as a prince, you must marry a princess. And only a princess. for a royal bird. Oh, poor thing. have found me a bigger room. Oh, it's fine, Mother. Not for the mother of the future queen of the kingdom. Queen? I'm not even married yet. And I'm not sure I should. You don't even joke about that! Did you see the way he looked at the island, girl? With disdain, contempt, scorn! No, with love, Mother. I've always dreamed of marrying somebody I love. And who loves me. Love? I certainly didn't love your father when I married him. Not this for peasants, which were obviously not. Who needs a heart that's going to bleed? It's inconvenient and just makes you hot. Let Mama tell you what you need. Not just any cloud, 
someone with a crown, and a happy life is guaranteed. Mother, that can't be right. Did you say something? All the books I've read, all the poems always said, that a heart is made to share. Joy's not found in things such as necklaces and rings, but in love that's always there. That's the jewel beyond compare. You need to stop reading those books, filling your head with thoughts. Now go, Luciana. Do something to make yourself pretty. Uh, Yes, Mother. The King's forgotten how we wrecked my family's life when I was just a tiny tot. Just cause we tried to kill him and his wife. A little treason, not a lot. He took away our which wasn't what we planned. He put us on a pig farm and forgot. I ran away and I must say I cleaned up good. My past was nothing I'd discuss. I found the oldest king that I could. His heart condition was a plus. <laughs> Sunday we were wed. Wednesday he was dead. Happily that put an end to us. But when I heard that good King Peter had a son, I had a daughter right away. Put her in training so she'd be the one. Oh, how I've waited for this day. Once they tie the knot, I'll implement my plot. Then I'll use the king's hand for croquet. A pig which should be mine and leave him with a swine. And I'll have my way. The god of pain. <laughs> Good morning, Tika. Did you sleep well? I can't wait till we go home. Not that simple, is it? Now that I'm here, I know there must be people I belong to somewhere, but how do I find them? I know that we're a long way from home, Tika, but at least we're all together. Bro! Oh, I've been looking everywhere for you. What's he doing here? I'd like my parents to get to know you better. Please, join us for tea. Tea? I love this castle. Everything is just the way I re I would have done it myself. Consider our home your home. Oh, I already do. <laughs> Did I mention that my darling Luciana is an accomplished harpist? I started her as soon as she could sit up. Mother. Stop slouching. Ow! Watch me. Thank you. Ro grew up on an island in the South Seas. Really, you could hardly tell. 
Look how charming your little monkey is. Such wonderful manners. And she's a monkey. Sweetheart, tell Prince Antonio about your watercolor. Perhaps another time, Mother. Don't be modest. Go on. You love to paint. Oh, I do. The colors seem to come to life on the page. Whoa! So oh, I am so sorry, Miss. I... I should go. Bro, wait! Antonio! Let her go. She needs a moment to herself. You look the way I feel. Everything I do here is wrong. Without a knife and fork? Don't be ridiculous. Just one bite? Well, if you insist, just one. Oh, mmm. My brother and I used to climb trees to pick these. See the ripe one on the top branch? It's all yours. You mean climb up there? I'll hold your tiara so it won't fall off. Thank you, but, well, it's just, I've forgotten how. Forgotten how to climb? Well, we can fix that. What do you enjoy most on your travels, your highness? Oh, everything. Following the wind. Discovering something new around the next bay. Don't you miss the comforts of home? No, not when I can sleep under the open sky. The Royal Stable. <gasps> Pigs! Oh, nasty little things. <laughs> get away, get away! I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about a thing. I'm fine. Where's that well? <laughs> Help, Mother. Odd, isn't it? Like Queen Ariana knew exactly where to find the well, even though she's never been here before. It is a bit odd. <laughs> I forgot to 
got how fun this is. <laughs> Looking good, Tallulah. <laughs> You're a natural. Not another word against Queen Ariana. You're marrying Princess Luciana, and that's fine. <laughs> You look beautiful. What about your tiara? <laughs> now you're ready for the ball. I wish we could take you, Tika. Uh, we'll come visit you tomorrow. Bye! Bye, Tika. Look at you! The little princess has dressed me up for the royal engagement ball. What's that? Everybody knows a royal ball is big and round like a coconut. Are you certain, Your Highness? Absolutely. Then we know what it isn't. I resent that. It's a big dance to congratulate Prince Antonio and Princess Luciana. Rose should never go to that. On the contrary. No, Saji, no ball. Why not? I've been embarrassed enough. You know what the king and queen think? The strange island girl. You just need to show them you're every bit as royal as they are. I can promise that the ball will be a lot of fun. I can teach you everything you need to know. And that includes what I should wear? Leave that to me! Scat, scat, pillow, sleeve, scat, tie Are the only things to wear at the ball Tease your hair on three feet high If you want to show your flair why wear what the stuffy girls are wearing? I think seaweed wraps are quite the height of smile. Pineapple is naturally daring. Well, a fruit cup and a smile. Mmm, that's it. Something satin, throw a hat in, on a purple parasol. That's how to make an in at the ball. In a panic, think organic. Look at this, one size fits all. Well, almost. There's something missing. No, please, accept these. Do you think they'll do? Azul, your gift makes this a dream come true. Now you'll take the breath away. We can see you'll be the jewel of them all. Last of all, a rose bouquet. You're going to have a great time, Aunt. I'm going to have a great time, Aunt.
do Tell you... me. <laughs> uh, what else do you enjoy besides the heart, Your Highness? Well, I love opera. Do you? Uh, not exactly. How do you spend your spare time? When you're not sailing, of course. Outdoors, if I can. Do you like to ride? A hike? Not exactly. No! Ah! Such a striking cup! Well, no one could take their eyes off of you. Their eyes must be for your beautiful daughter. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't I get my dance? <laughs> Dance. Uh, no, no. Look at all these people. They've seen dancing before. I have no idea what I'm doing. Any girl who faces down crocodiles can handle a dance with me. Just follow your instincts. <laughs> Resist her. Rose sure looks happy. Where are you going, Saji? Hmm. To check on something. I'll only be a minute. Never put off till tomorrow what can be done today. We should move up the wedding to prevent any distractions. I see your point. Stay with me. I... I can't. Princess Luciana. She's very nice, but... You belong together. I shouldn't have come. Goodbye, Antonio. You don't understand. Please, don't make this any harder. Oh. 
Uh, why is everything so complicated? Life is full of change. Most of it good, but not always easy. I need to know who I am, where I belong, why I can't remember anything before I came to the island. I found something tonight. See that flag there? With the rose? Yes. Azul and I found a similar flag washed ashore when you came from the sea. I never knew that. I didn't know it mattered until tonight. It could be from the ship I sailed on. Excuse me, this flag, where's it from? The proud kingdom of Palladia. Oh, and how far away is that? A two days ride, including the river crossing and that rocky path to the north. Uh, you can actually understand me? Yes. Whom did you bring tonight? The Duke and Duchess. Do you know, did they have a daughter once long ago? Um, no, just three sons. Oh, thank you. You asked to see me, father? There's been a change in your wedding plans. Yes? You're marrying Princess Luciana in two days. What? Uh, two days? I, I can't. Can't what? Marry somebody I don't love. You have a responsibility to marry a princess to align our kingdoms. I don't believe you can say a bad word about Princess Luciana. No, she's a wonderful girl. Then there's nothing more to discuss. You once told me great kings make hard decisions. Exactly. This is the hardest thing I've ever done, Father. But I can't spend the rest of my life with someone I don't love. My sisters will run the kingdom. Don't try my patience. Sorry, Father. I don't know any other way. Bro? Bro? Are you in here? Please meet me in the Rose Garden tonight. Let's sail away together. Forever yours, Antonio. He's not sailing. Anywhere with my row. I didn't plan to use this so soon. But I didn't plan on the prince falling in love with that other girl either. Nat. Pat. Nat. I have a job for you. I want you to pay a little visit to every animal in the kingdom. Put this powder in their food, they'll sleep like they should. When the island girl gets blamed, she'll be gone for good. Hurry right back to your room. You'll get something great. All the cheese that you deserve will be 
on this plate. <laughs> she said cheese. She said cheese. <laughs> We are a trio of hungry fellas Who dream at night about mozzarellas What are we hoping we'll fill our cellars? Parmesans and greens I want to start with a chewy cheddar I find it like a Havati better Give me a fork and a mound of feta How we love the cheese In a wedge in a hunk, in a wheel, in a chunk. Does it stink? <laughs> like it's gunk. Yum, 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 yum. In a slice, in a brick. Very nice. Very thick. On a rice. On a stick. Licking up every crumb. For our efforts, we don't want money. We don't want a beach where it's warm and sunny. Just give us something that's soft and runny. Hello, look. <laughs> Are they sick? Sick to their stomachs, maybe. I saw three rats put something in their food. <gasps> Sunset herb. Strange. Why would rats do that? They must be crazy. Sunset herb is dangerous. Can you help them? Back home, if somebody ate sunset herb by mistake, we need a rose tonic to wake them up. But they don't have island roses here. They do, in the greenhouse. Hmm, I'm sure Prince Antonio would let us use them. I'll go and ask him. Ro, uh, ab about the prince. Yes? Um, nothing. Peter! Something's wrong. I can't wake up to Lula. Good day, Frasier! Oh, uh. And to you, your highness. You look like a busy man on your way to see the king. Oh, why, yes, I am. The animals are still fast asleep with no sign of waking. Oh, a terrible disease. Is it contagious? Uh, seems likely. Oh, who could have given it to them? Well, apparently there's something new in their habitat. Something foreign? Oh! Like wild animals from the South Sea? Why, yes, exactly. Oh, I must tell the king. Yes, you do. I'm sorry, miss. The king insists the prince not be disturbed. Please, tell him I can help. I can make a medicine for the animals. No exceptions? Good day. Your Majesty, I'm afraid that Roe brought the disease with her. Her animals infected ours with a type of sleeping sickness. Poor Taluna. I knew that island girl wasn't to be trusted, but I don't understand why her animals don't sleep like ours. Well, carriers of disease are often immune themselves. How do we cure Tallulah and the others? Oh, I'm afraid I'm still working on that. But if they don't wake up, they'll starve to death. 
gods. Gods. Look how low I've sunk. A royal bird languishing in this stinkhole where they keep prisoners and ruffians. Are we really prisoners? Food for the prisoners. I rest my case. Please, let me talk to Prince Antonio. If the animals don't wake up soon, they'll die. You should have thought of that before your animals got them sick. But they didn't! Now I know why people break out of prison. <laughs> the food's terrible. <gasps> You're not eating that! How could you be so foolish? Do you really think I'd be dumb enough to eat food with sunset earth? <laughs> Azul? Azul! Is it true? You put Roe in the dungeon? I had no choice. It's not right. She'd never hurt anyone. So, you think I should free her? Yes. Let her return to her island. On one condition. Name it. You resume your duties as prince and marry Princess Luciana. Father, great kings must make hard decisions. As you wish. Your wedding dress will be the talk of the kingdom. Mother, the prince is in love with Ro, not me. Enough! This marriage will happen. End of discussion! But you... You must want me to be happy. Oh, you will be. Now prepare for your fitting. Yes, Mother. Will he be okay? The King wants you and your beasts sent home. A girl. I need you to do something for me. For a reward, of course. I don't understand. Who would do this to all of the animals? Somebody who wants me out of the prince's life for good. Princess Luciana? No, she's much too kind to hurt anybody. Unlike her pushy, nasty, scheming mother. Exactly. We need to get back to the greenhouse and make that tonic. Don't do it. They'll throw you into the dungeon again, or worse. I can't let the animals die when I can save them. You may not be a princess to the king and queen, but you're a Princess in my eyes. <laughs> Tika? I I hit it. I didn't tell you and I hit it. Hit what? His note. The prince left you a note to meet him. Why wouldn't you tell me? <laughs> I didn't want you to leave me. If you marry the prince, you'll forget about us. Please don't hate me. 
Oh, Tika, I could never hate you. I love you. But you love the, the prince. Tika. Everybody is born to care. It's something we were meant to share, not to keep to ourselves all alone. If we make room for someone new, doesn't mean that there's less for you, only means that our circle has grown. to get back to the castle. Help me untie the boat. I can't 
thank you enough. You really remember everything from before? Uh, not everything, but I remember a lot. Maybe enough to find my family. Now let's go make that tunnel. There you are, dear. The wedding is in the ballroom. Please go in. Welcome, Your Highness. Thank you. After all these years, the answer to your dreams. My dreams? Hmm? Our dreams. Now remember, no food on your wedding day. Not one bite. Why not? Well, it's bad luck. Terrible luck. I take chances on your future together. Yes, Mother. That's my girl. An auspicious day, Your Highness. Fraser, it broke? Uh, yes, Your Highness. Her ship left last night. Right. From me to you, Peter, you and your family will sleep for a very, very long time. Forever. Really? <laughs> and who will rule the kingdom? Luciana, the new queen. And who rules Luciana? Don't slouch. this for the tonic. Oh, hello again. Oh, oh, hello. I'm so glad you're back. I saw Ariana sprinkle something on the cake. She did? More sunset herb. We need to finish this tonic right away.
steady. You don't move. Please, I'm trying to help the animals. Enough. You're coming with us. Find Tallulah and see if this works. Hurry! We are gathered here to join in matrimony, Princess Luciano to His Highness Prince Ontario. If someone objects to this union, speak now or we'll forever hold your peace. Outrageous! Chica! What are you doing here? Guards! What is it, Tika? Let me go! You waste away the dungeon after this stunt. Release her at once. But, but your highness, your father. I said at once. Are you all right? Yes. Your highness. <laughs> Let that be enough. Antonio, what do you think you're doing? We had a deal, Father. I'd marry Princess Luciana so Ro could go free. That's why. How dare she interrupt the wedding? This wild girl and her animals are spreading disease. They're dangerous. No, we aren't. Someone put an herb in the animal's food, and I can cure them if you'll just let me. I can make a healing tonic. Surely you don't believe her story. It's preposterous. <laughs> Tallulah. Thank you, Ro. Oh, Tallulah. Come here, darling. Maybe it's true. Maybe Ro does have a cure. If you didn't cause the sickness, then who put the herb in the animal's food? Ariana. Oh, don't be ridiculous. A grave accusation. She put the sunset herb in the wedding cake, too. Now, we're you can see just how crazy you are. <laughs> Where did you hear that? A little birdie tell you. <laughs> if I'm so crazy, you won't mind eating some cake. Don't be ridiculous. We haven't even had dinner. <laughs> Please, have a bite. Well, how do I know you didn't put something in the cake yourself to frame me? She didn't, Mother. <gasps> Luciana! You told me not to eat anything. Why would you say that unless... you poisoned it? <laughs> <laughs> Take my 
my hand. Oh, thank you. Try the trees. Please forgive me, Ro. I assumed the worst without ever giving you a chance. You saved us from disaster. We owe you so much. Uh, I'm glad I could help. One day, I hope someone will look at me the way you look at Ro. When that happens, he'll be the lucky one. Oh, they make a beautiful couple. Then why is the prince coming over here? Sail away with me. I can't do that. Princess Luciana wants us to be happy. Bro, will you marry me? Uh, this is why you say yes? Yes. Yes, yes, yes! Excuse me? Father, no more nonsense about me marrying a princess. Perhaps it is time for the change. Welcome, Ro. Call me Rosella. My real name is Rosella. You remembered. Your name is Rosella. Yes? I... I had a daughter named Rosella. Sun goes down. And we are here together. Fireflies glow like a thousand charms. Stay with me and you can dream forever right here. And her mother is a queen, which means Ro is... <gasps>